A couple of years ago, TaylorMade introduced to us the P790 iron, and it's fair to say it went down well. Then we saw the second generation, which went down better. Today, I have the 2021 TaylorMade P790 irons. Let's do it, and let's do it now. You see guys, when the first generation of TaylorMade P790s was released, they were very, very good. And then TaylorMade got tasked with the impossible job of making them better. And now, now TaylorMade have been tasked with the even more impossible job of making them even more better. You can see where this is going. So today we are taking the 2021 TaylorMade P790s out here on the par three course at Woolley Park Golf Club because, well, it's literally, literally the perfect place to test irons. First hole, we have 157.9 yards. So we'll go with 158 yards. Now, these irons are going to be pretty powerful. They're going to be pretty sexy, as you can see. And they're also going to be pretty forgiving, hopefully. Right, I think we will start with a nice eight iron drawing in off the wind. Looking down, at it, it looks so P790-like. So it's not lost that. Oh, be good. Hold that line. Oh, that's delightful. That's a delightful start. If I do say so myself. Let's go. So, looking at these irons, you may think, what on earth can TaylorMade improve to make these better? The first generation were great. They felt a little bit firm, but they were pretty much the iron to have in your bag. If you're a scratch handicap, a four handicap, an eight handicap, a 12 handicap, you get the gist even right up to the 20 handicap the 24 the 28 so much so that TaylorMade released the p770 which has kind of taken that lower handicap category but now the new p790 is out i honestly think you might see people reverting back to these because they look fantastic i'll show you a few images of them on screen now and not only that but TaylorMade claimed that these new p790s feel better than any of the previous p790s which is Wonderful. So first shot of the day, just short. It landed very, very quickly actually to say how firm the ground conditions are and things like that. So I'm gonna chip with the P790 pitching wedge and we'll see how much control and how soft this feels because that's a big thing when you are potentially changing your irons. Do they feel nice around the greens? Far. Again. So I hear you all in the comments. It's all good and well releasing a new P790 iron when the old one was so good and the one before that was so good. But what's changed? Well, the 2021 P790 does include a few more little bits of tech to make these clubs better feeling, better performing, and visually they look beautiful as well. So we'll get into that. The big story, get ready for this. The big story is speed foam. Yes, we've all heard of that before, but now we have something called Speed Foam Air. So Speed Foam Air is 69% less dense to allow for less mass in each head by around three and a half grams per head, which is actually quite a lot. And that actually means that TaylorMade can distribute the weight better and more evenly throughout the heads using tungsten, which we are going to touch on in a few holes time. This is 150 yards uphill a little bit. We're going to go eight time again and see if we can play a bit of a half shot, because if I have one gripe, with hollow bodied irons, it's not been able to play that little half shot when you want to. Oh, go on then. Be the number. Oh, it's perfect. It's a little bit short, it's not perfect, but we're taking it all day. Feel wise, could get used to this. So other tech that's included in the 2021 P790 irons is a new thin wall construction and L face. That is a new 8620 carbon steel construction which makes the head thinner by 37.5%. Which is like nearly 40%. Which is nearly half. And that allows for strategically lower CG and alongside the new L face. Sorry to interrupt but I've got to mention about this stopping power again because that is wonderful. 
And that, alongside the L phase, which is forged from 4140 steel, promotes more flexibility in the face, giving you faster ball speeds, all whilst keeping that premium forged feel, which is what they say. Fair enough. Right, can we make a birdie? We've not made a birdie in ages. Ages. Turn, turn, turn. Oh! Maybe we just needed some speed foam air in the old Scotty. Um, or maybe I just needed to not hit it as hard, but that's another three. Now, other tech that you will see in the new TaylorMade P790 irons, you may not be so surprised. We still have the through slot speed pocket to allow for more ball speed on lower face hits. You'll see that in the long grinds here. But then newer technology, which you may be more surprised to hear about, is that the sweet spots are potentially 60% bigger than original P790. That's like more than half. Maths lessons with James. Okay, now is where we start testing the slightly longer clubs. This is downhill, but it's 214 yards. And I'm gonna go with, where is it? You. I'm gonna go with the six iron. Also, can we just have a minute for the guy who designed these? Because following the original P790s was tough, but then following the second P790s, you absolutely nailed it there, my friend. I mean, imagine having that job. Imagine having the job of redesigning one of the most sold golf clubs ever. Potentially the best selling golf club ever. It's like, yeah, thanks. Right, 214. Let's just get it up there. So looking down at the six iron, we still have that nice kind of quite big top line. There's not too much offset, which a lot of people wouldn't really like. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, hold that line, please. It's just effortless. Oh. Right, that's about three feet away. Um. It almost feels like the less effort you put in, the better they go. Which is strange, but good. Now, you see, I think... I think this is about the time where people who were in the original P790s might be thinking, you know what, it's been a while, it's been, what's it been, six, seven years? Do I now opt for the new P790s, the, the 2021 P790s? Because initially, the last generation, the second generation, yeah, they look great, they look better. They didn't look that different, did they? They changed the logo a bit, they put a little bit more technology in there, and all of a sudden, bang, we had the second generation P790, but now, your initial generation ones are going to be a bit battered, they're going to be a bit old, you've probably improved a bit. I don't know. And these new ones look sick. Am I young enough to say that? I don't think I am anymore, am I? Well, can we just have a moment's applause or maybe a like button or a comment for, uh, for that tee shot? Because that's 214 yards and I called it back on the tee. I'm going to say that is three feet. And again, I'm going to show you this stopping power because with a six iron on fairly firm greens, we've not had that much rain recently. It stopped from there, there. And that's why for me, TaylorMade, it almost came across these clubs by accident. Yes, the original P790 was meant to be forgiven. It was meant to be powerful and it was meant to be good for your higher handicap golfers. But it was never meant to do that for people like me, and maybe you if you're watching. And that almost happened by accident with pros like myself fitting people into irons and saying, you know what? These look really good. They feel pretty good. And they perform pretty good. So why not give them a go? Oh, birdie, finally. You know what guys, I'm well aware that usually I'd only do a couple of holes for a review and that'd be that, but kind of really enjoying this. <laughs> now, one of the things which I do find interesting about this new 2021 range of the P790s is, is that they almost look a little bit bigger. The top line almost looks a little bit thicker, the blade length a little bit longer, and they just look like a more forgiving package. But then I'm starting to wonder, is that because we've seen the P770? Is that because I've tested the P770 alongside the old P790? So I'm starting to mentally compare those because realistically it didn't need to get any bigger. I don't think it has got any bigger but it just looks a whole new world of inviting, a whole new world of friendly, 
a whole new world of forgiving which like nobody's going to turn down are they right we'll make this last hole fifth hole 197 yards uphill into the wind this time the previous hole came down here downwind so what we'll do is we'll give the four iron a run out see if we can keep it low under the wind because these are the factors which may decipher that if you go for a mixed set if you go for a full set if you literally just go for a four iron or a udi yeah that might be coming as well so guys get in the comments below and let me know would you like to see this as an indoor test would you like to see the numbers i'll put the lofts on screen now you'll see that they're not too strong the seven iron is still north of 30 which uh don't worry seven iron, i know how you feel now depressing isn't it but i have seen stronger lofted clubs so they're not just crank those lofts down four iron oh, it's just gone right a little bit actually but i dare say that's pilot error i think i think we're flag high again so we'll take it and feel wise again i mean it's not the softest club you're ever going to hit i've got to get that in there but it's okay it's fine so earlier in the video i spoke to you about the speed foam air which is 69 percent less dense which ultimately leads to less mass now what have taylor made done with that mass so we have a new tungsten weighting system so as you can see pin high just left it a little bit right and to be fair that's something which with a forgiving iron i'm all over hitting it just right because it means that the offset isn't that bad it isn't that harsh which is perfect so back to why taylor made have saved all that mass we now have a new tungsten weighting system which allows for up to 31 grams of tungsten to be placed in the toe of the club that creates a massive amount of stability and forgiveness all wrapped into a player's package you can see the tungsten there and you can see the player's package there right, can we play a little bump over this hill and get the soft feel with the pitching wedge we'll just release down a bit not really the shot was it but we'll go with it so i think we've covered just about everything we have this put for a one under par round on the par three course albeit for five holes but that's no mean feat because it's actually quite a testing course i do think when you're testing irons sometimes you don't need to go out on a proper golf course something like this works perfectly let's see if we can break par got to say i could see myself not playing these irons but i think if i played a social round with them i'd really enjoy myself i don't see any kind of negative really oh that's left and low guys that is i mean that's miles away but we don't need to worry about that that is the new tailor-made p790 guys i think these could be the best irons yet from tailor-made i think when we first saw the p790 i'm basically recapping the whole video now when we first saw the p790 it was like this brand new holy grail type of club and they've done really well to just tweak it and tweak it and tweak it they haven't changed it whole hog but then they didn't really need to do and that's a bogus that's level par but guys thank you ever so much for watching i really hope you have enjoyed it if you have smash that subscribe button below for more product reviews i'm really looking forward to getting back into the product reviews i've not done that many this year because i've tried to get more on course fun content for you but for me that has really whet my appetite guys thanks once again hit that like button and i shall see you all same time tomorrow Bye.